Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2014 Grade 7 8 Contest Question 18, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 Contest. Now, the question is A small school has 100 students in rooms A, B, and C. After the first period, half of the students in room A move to room B. One-fifth of the students in room B move to room C, and one-third of the students in room C move to room A. After the move, the number of students in each room is the same as it was before. How many students are in room A? Now, for this question, we will use the variables A, B, and C for the number of students in rooms A, B, and C. So, our strategy for this question is to collect data from the question and then create equations and finally get one equation in terms of A so that we can find out the number of students in room A. Alright, now let's look at the first bit of information that is given to us. We know that there are 100 students in total in rooms A, B, and C. And that will give us our first equation which is 100 which is equal to a plus b plus c. Alright, now let's look at the next bit of information. After the first period, half of the students in room A move to room B, a fifth of the students in room B move to room C, and a third of the students in room C move to room A. And also, we are told that after the move, the number of students in each room is the same as it was before. Well, that is big because now we know that the number of students coming out of the room, so leaving the room, must be the same as the number of students entering the room. Alright, now let's look at room B. We know that a fifth of the students in room B are leaving, so therefore we have 1 over 5B. And this must be equal to the number of students coming into the room, which is half the students in room A. Because half the students in room A move to room B, so that is 1 over 2A. And now, since we want B in terms of A, because we want to substitute that into this equation, we will multiply both sides by 5, giving us b equals to 5 over 2a. Alright, <clears throat> now let's find another equation, which solves for c in terms of a. Now let's look at room a. We know that the number of students leaving, which is half the students, which is 1 over 2a, must be equal to the number of students entering the room, which is 1 over 3c. So we have 1 over 3c, which is equal to 1 over 2a. Alright, now since we want C in terms of A, we will multiply both sides by 3, and we will get C, which is equal to 3 over 2A. Well, now we have what we wanted to achieve from the beginning, which is B and C, both in terms of A. Alright, now let's rewrite this. Now we still have A. And now we have plus b, but instead of b, we have 5 over 2a. Plus c, and instead of c, we have 3 over 2a. Now we have 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2, which is 8 over 2, and 8 over 2 is equal to 4. So 4a plus 1a is 5a. Now we have 100 equals to 5a. And to get just a, we divide both sides by 5. 
which leaves us A is equal to 100 divided by 5, which is 20. So, therefore, we know that the number of students in room A is 20. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.